All right. So for this question, they tell us that in 1980, about 2 million people took cruises, but today it's 16 million. And by today, they really mean 2012. Now from 2011, 2012, 22 new ships will be built and it's gonna cost $4.6 billion. Five of them will be mega ships. It's unlikely that this recent tragedy in which love and lives were lost will make a dent in this growth. Now, that probably isn't going to help us, so we can go ahead and cross that out. The seduction of cruising is too great. Well, it's probably not going to help us either. Let's go ahead and cross that out as well. Especially for North Americans who make up more than 70% of cruise goers. Again, probably not going to help us either. So what you might find in Math 143 is that a large part of the writing that they give you does not actually help you solve the problem. And if you notice that there are words in the way of what you're trying to actually look at, it's a good idea to go ahead and cross them out. Now, the first question asks, what's the average cost of a cruise ship in the year 2011 to 2012? To find the average, we take the total cost and divide that by the number of ships. Now, our total cost, let's look where it says the cost is 4.6 billion. So on the top, we place 4.6 billion. And on the bottom, we place the number of ships. It said previously, there were 22 new ships. So all we need at this point is to go to the calculator and say 4.6 divided by 22. And press enter and we get 0 0.20909, but we don't really need all those decimals. I'm just going to say 0.209. It should be enough. So we will say 0 0.209 billion dollars is the average cost of each ship. Now for part B, we are asked what percent of cruise ships are mega ships? So what we need to do for this is take our number of mega ships and divide by the total ships. Now in the question, they told us that five of the ships will be mega ships. Now the total ships, as we said earlier, was 22. And then if we are given percent as part of the question, specifically if it says what percent, we add times 100 at the end. So now let's press that in the calculator. We say five, divide 22, press enter. And then we say times 100 to get 22.7. Part C. By what percent has the number of people going on cruises grown from 1980 to 2012? So let's have a look at the data. In the previous slide, in 1980, we had 2 million people. And in 2012, we had 16 million. So what we need to do is subtract those two numbers to find the growth. So we say 16 minus 2, it is 14. So now 14 million, I'm going to say, is our growth. But if you want the percent growth, that's a little bit different. Okay, Percent growth is going to be growth on top divided by the older number on the bottom. And then because it says percent, 
we add times 100 on the end to change it into percent. Now our growth was 14 million. And then we need to select the older of the two numbers. So we're going to think about this in chronological order. 1980 happened before 2012. So 1980 is the year we need to look at. So we'll say over 2 million. And then multiply by 100 to change this into percent. So in our calculator, we say 14. Divide by 2 times 100, so 14 divided by 2 is indeed 7. Multiply by 100 gives 700%. So for part D, what number of people will go on cruises in another 32 years in 2044? So I'm going to work this. OK, so we've got our 700. In part D, we need to use this equation. We'll say the new value that's in 2044 is equal to the old value that is from 2012 times, we'll say, 1 plus the percentage over 100. So the P I've written here is the growth percent. This comes from part C. The old amount of people from 2012, the number of people who went on cruises in 2012 we found previously was 16 million. And then the new amount in 2044 we don't know. So we'll have to do the math to figure that out. So we'll take 16 in this position, multiply times 1 plus my growth percent, which is 700, divide by 100. So now what I'll do is say 700 divide by 100 give 7 and then add 1. It is 8. And so now we have 16 multiply 8. And we get 128. So we get 128 million. So we can say that the number of people that will go on cruises in 2044, if this growth rate continues, is 128 million. All right. If the rate of growth of the cruise industry has been constant, what number of people went on cruises 32 years before 1980? That is in 1948. So remember that our growth rate was 700% previously. That's from part C and D. We also saw that our people on cruises in 1980, we had 2 million. So let's use that information and reset the problem we did in part D and try again. Now we're going to treat our newer value as being the value from 1980 and the older value being the value in 1948. And then we still say times 1 plus percent over 100. So our new value from 1980 was 2 million. Our old value, we don't actually know what that is because they didn't tell us. So we'll just call it X. We will say times 1 plus the percentage, that was 700, divide by 100. All right. Now, in part D, we already found that 700 over 100 was 7. So 7 plus 1 is what we have inside the parentheses. Now, 7 plus 1, of course, is 8. So we have 2 equals x times 8. So now we need to try to solve for x 
And to do that, we will divide by eight. We will divide on both sides. So the eights cancel out and we have two divided by eight equals X. And then we go to our calculator. Some of you might know this already, but two divided by eight gives 0.25. And this will be in millions. So we can say 0.25 million people went on cruises in 1948. 